Vladimir Putin is suffering a major setback in the war as Russian soldiers are dying in tens of thousands, Volodymyr Zelensky claimed. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky skewered Vladimir Putin-led Russian troops attempt to invade the whole of Ukraine in a wide-ranging interview with NBC. As the Ukrainian war is grinding to a halt, the death toll on both the Russian and the Ukrainian side continues to climb. Though the exact number of casualties is difficult to estimate, a majority of reports show that Russian forces are suffering a higher death toll than Ukrainian forces. President Zelensky confirmed the numbers on NBC, saying, where we lose one tank, they lose five tanks. That's how we are fighting. But you have to be fair and admit that it's difficult for us. One has to understand that it is not only we who are losing. Russia is losing too. Where we lose one person, Russia loses five people. According to Ukraine officials' estimates, 35,000 Russian soldiers have died since the beginning of the war while Ukraine has only deplored 10,000 deaths. Senior Ukrainian presidential advisor Michael Opatolyak told the BBC that the number of Ukrainian deaths on the front line ranged from 100 to 200 a day. While the exact death toll remains unknown, officials and reports have shown higher figures in recent weeks as Ukrainian forces struggled to hold the line in the eastern Donbass region. The Donbass has now become the epicenter of the war where Russian forces are concentrating their efforts after failing to capture the capital Kiev. Russian troops had failed to make significant advances in the region since they started fighting in 2014. President Putin then justified the attack by bringing up a conspiracy, claiming President Zelensky's neo-Nazi regime was killing Russian-backed separatists in the Donbass. President Zelensky rejected the conspiracy used by Putin's regime to justify assaults in the Donbass region in 2014 and the whole of Ukraine in late February. They have been demonizing Ukraine by saying there are Nazis here. What Nazis? They know that my family is Jewish, I have Jewish blood and that my family was tortured by the Nazis during World War II, he said. On his hope for a potential post-war Ukraine, Zelensky said Ukraine will come out stronger and united. After me, there will be a united Ukraine, a united people. And that's what's happening. Our people are no longer divided by where they come from, be it from the West, from the center, or from the Donbass. We're all united. And this war has united us, that's true. Fear is now mounting over a potential spillover of the war beyond Ukraine's borders. Finland Foreign Minister Pekka Havisto told CNN that war in Europe is of course a possibility. And that's why it's so important to support Ukraine at the moment, he said.